let us quickly move through the <coughs> summary of all losses friction loss is calculated using this formula loss is equal to mu alpha plus kx into initial pre-stress next is anchorage slip loss loss is equal to del a into es divided by span of the beam next is elastic deformation loss is equal to m into fc where m is equal to modular ratio fc is equal to pre stress next is shrinkage loss shrinkage loss is calculated using this formula loss is equal to shrinkage strain into angus modulus of steel and last one is creep loss using approach one when creep coefficient is given you have to use this formula when creep strain is given you have to use this formula for calculation of creep loss finally relaxation loss percentage of relaxation loss is generally given in question let us solve one problem related to the calculation of losses the question was asked on may 2018 for 16 marks let us read this question what exactly the given data as well as what you have to find out a post tensioned concrete beam spanning 10 meter and having cross sectional area 200 mm by 300 mm is pre stressed with cable having an area of 320 mm square located at constant eccentricity of 50 mm initial pre stress in cable is 1000 newton per mm square calculate percentage loss of pre stress in the cable using relaxation of steel is equal to 5% shrinkage strain is equal to 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 creep coefficient is equal to 1.6 frictional coefficient is equal to 15 into 10 raised to minus 4 per meter anchorage in slip is equal to 1 mm angus modulus of steel is equal to 210 kN per mm square and angus modulus of concrete is equal to 35 kN per mm square let us solve this problem so first you have to first you have to sketch the longitudinal and cross sectional view of a beam so this is cross section of beam with 200 mm width and 300 mm overall depth this is the cg of concrete let us sketch the longitudinal section also from that section you can clearly show the profile of the tendon the beam is of 10 meter okay and the location of tendon the location of tendon is exactly 50 mm from the cg of concrete so this is your cg of concrete from cg of concrete the tendon is 50 mm below in cross section also you have to show the location of tendon it is again 50 mm below the tendon profile is straight with a pre stress 1000 newton per mm square so let us 
calculate first loss is the friction loss we know that there is one direct formula to find out the friction loss friction loss is equal to mu alpha plus kx into initial pre stress so here mu and alpha term is zero because the tendon profile is straight then the value of k is given the value of k is friction coefficient 15 into 10 raised to minus 4 per meter this question this value is given in question okay so the loss is equal to this mu alpha term is zero you have to put directly this term 15 into 10 raised to minus 4 multiplied by x x means the distance from jacking end let us consider this as jacking end so from this end you have to consider the x and x is the distance from jacking end where the maximum loss is developed so at remote end generally maximum loss is developed so in this case the x is equal to 10 meter directly have to put here 10 meter okay because the frictional coefficient 15 into 10 is to minus 4 per meter this meter this meter get cancel and you have to put now initial stress initial stress is 1000 newton per mm square after multiplication we get the value it is 15 newton per mm square 15 newton per mm square is the friction loss Fifteen newton per mm square is the friction loss. Next is you have to find out the shrinkage loss. Next is shrinkage loss. so this loss is calculated using this formula shrinkage strain epsilon sh into angst modulus of steel so the shrinkage strain given in question that is 2 into 10 raised to minus 4 multiplied by angst modulus is 210 multiplied by 10 raised to 3 because the given value it is in kilo newton per meter square kilo newton per mm square so you have to convert that value into newton per mm square the multiplication is 42 newton per mm square so this is the shrinkage loss next is creep loss next is creep loss so creep coefficient is given so you have to use the formula which having creep coefficient phi into m into fc okay let phi is equal to creep coefficient it is 1.6 given okay m is equal to modular ratio this is angst modulus of steel divided by angst modulus of a concrete okay it is 210 divided by 35 okay so answer is 6 now how to find out the fc 
now how to find out the fc so fc is the stress in concrete at the level of a tendon okay we know that p by a okay and plus p into e divided by z so p is equal to prestressing force in question prestressing force is directly not given prestress is given and area of wires are given so prestress is 1000 area of wire is 320 newton per mm square so simply the multiplication is 32 simply the multiplication is Thirty-two thousand. It is in newton. It is thirty-two kilo newton. <coughs> so F C is. It is sorry. It is three twenty kilo newton. Okay, three twenty kilo newton. So, three twenty into ten raised to three. Divided by two hundred into three hundred is the cross sectional area of concrete. Plus three twenty into ten raised to three. Okay. So eccentricity is fifty mm. We know that. Divided by what is the z? So z is equal to i by y. So i is equal to one twelfth b d cube. It is the moment of inertia with respect to x x axis. Divided by y is the distance of tendon from the Siege of concrete. It is fifty because you are calculating the F C at the level of tendon. So let take these values. Okay, so this is five point three three. Okay. Let calculate this. It is one point seventy seven. So five point three three plus one point seventy seven. The value of FC is seven point one megapascal. Okay, now we can simply calculate the creep loss. So loss is equal to creep coefficient is one point six, modulo ratio is six, seven point one is the FC, one point six into six, seven point one. The answer is sixty-eight point one six megapascal is the is the. creep loss okay next calculate the next calculate the anchorage slip loss next is the fourth one anchorage 
स्लिप लॉस ओके लॉस इज इक्वल टू डेल ए इन टू ई एस डिवाइडेड बाय स्पैन ऑफ द बीम सो एंक्रेज स्लिप इज गिवन इन क्वेश्चन ओके एंक्रेज स्लिप इज वन एम एम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय ई एस इज टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन इंटू टेन डेज टू थ्री and span of the beam is 10 meter so now here you have to put the value in mm okay so 210 23 divided by 10000 the answer is 21 newton per mm square and last fifth one relaxation loss last fifth one relaxation losses it is 5% of initial stress it is the 5% of initial stress 5% of initial stress it is 5 divided by 100 into 1000 The answer is fifty megapascal. The answer is fifty megapascal. Okay. Now you have to add all these losses. You have to add all these losses. So first loss is friction loss. Second is Shrinkage loss. Third one is creep loss. Fourth one is anchorage slip loss. And fifth one is relaxation loss. The total is one ninety six point sixteen. मेगा पास्कल सो फाइनली द परसेंटेज लॉस इज फाइनली परसेंटेज लॉस इज हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द परसेंटेज लॉस परसेंटेज लॉस सो टोटल लॉस डिवाइडेड बाय प्री स्ट्रेस Total loss divided by pre stress multiplied by hundred. So total loss is one ninety six point sixteen. Pre stress is one thousand divided by hundred. So finally is nineteen point sixty one percent total percentage loss.